Hello. Uh, a few of you have been um, having some complaints about my uh, N64 disk drive emulation video. I'm here to fix those up because people said that it isn't working right. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to fix it because a few people uh, such as Nerd M and Nerd F or Nerd M Nerd F is the full username of that person who, you know, complained about it. But um, I'm going to clarify just how to do it because he wanted me to do a tutorial video and I will do that. So, first thing you're going to want to do is check the description of my previous video or check the description of the video that I have posted right now because I will probably put a link in that too. So, it'll have links to download centers, the ROM dumps, and the emulator itself. So, go to the emulator itself. It's Luigi Blood's uh, GitHub. So, it may say outdated, but trust me, you're going to want to use this one because the other one that I was using was not working right. So, click the project64 underscore 64ddcic.zip. Don't get the source code unless you know what you're doing with that and want to edit things in it. So just download the regular zip that he has here. So a little pop-up window or it should download automatically depending on what your settings are. This one right here, this was from a failed attempt of the video that I just did because it wasn't working right. So in a few seconds, it's going to be done downloading, and then we can move on. All right, it's done. So now, open up your zip file, and drag these two to the desktop. Open up your zip file with whatever zip file opener that you have. It could be WinRAR, it could be 7-zip, it could be WinZip. Maybe you don't have one. If you don't, I recommend going to download uh, 7-zip because that's a free one. It's really good. So open your README and just read all of this. It tells you information. This is only working with Zoinkity's conversions of N64DD games. That's what we have here. This is the Zoinkity games. See? This only works... Yeah. You have to set your memory size to 8 megabytes for every one of them or else it hangs slash crashes and then it has recommended video plugins but that thing he says here memory size to 8 megabytes it's very important we're gonna wanna make sure we have that so this is just the standalone version you don't need to install anything I would recommend putting it in a folder uh, which I will do now I'll just name it YouTube uh, PJ64 alright so just drag everything in there if you already opened up just open it up and it'll start writing files so if you open it up then it's just gonna write all of these folders straight to it so open it up go to settings go to options I'm just gonna do that so it shows advanced settings alright alright now here we are this is where things get interesting you'll notice if you go into the settings and then into the plugins there are no plugins because it's a fresh install so what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna either want to go online and find some more plugins which you can just do by typing project 64 plugins and just looking for plugins they're pretty easy to find or um, if you already have a previous version of project 64 installed which I'm assuming most of you do if you're even using n64 emulations anyway is just go to where you had it downloaded if I can find mine uh, there it is just go to where you have your previous versions downloaded I have this one this one and this one this is just a previous version that I use for um, 
my actual N64 disk drive emulation. So go into the plugins folder, then make a plugins folder, or you know what, just find your plugins folder, copy it, and paste it into your new install folder. And most of the plugins should work, and if not, then just go find some new plugins to install yourself. Then open your new version of Project 64 back up. Go into settings. Then go into plugins. Start picking out plugins. You can pick the ones that he suggested or your own. Um, I'm going to use Glide 64 just as a, you know, quick example. I'm going to select, um, no, fine. Uh, and then apply. And that's going to apply everything. So all of your plugin settings are going to be adapted. So press OK. And then go to your graphics plugin if you really feel like it. So, yeah. He said in his um, README if you're using uh, Glide64 or any other, then <clears throat> if you're using Glide64, then there are going to be a few kinks in it that need to be fixed. You can do that yourself. So you may need to enable render frame buffer as texture. So show texture enhancements. And then go back to your plugins folder. Let's see. All right. Let's see. He says enable render frame buffer as texture so if you find that render, render, render. I think it was um, render n64 frame buffer as texture so go into emulation settings and just do that this will fix problems with a few games as it said here so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the ROM page. This will show all of the ROMs. Now, <clears throat> do not download any of the ROMs on this column. Very, very bad. Don't do that. Download them off of this one because this is the one that works. So download any one of these, any one of them. Just don't download any from here. You might as well just say these don't exist. Just download any one of these from here. Um, right now, I already have one installed, so um, I'm just going to use that. So, But if you don't have any installed, which you probably don't, or maybe you do if you're watching from uh, the last video that I did, then just install and just use this one that you have. So, <clears throat> since I already have one, I'm just going to choose the ROM directory. I'm going to set it to my folder from N64 that one so I have that but don't just use the good ROM page here the quick start go to open ROM because it tends to not work and now hopefully wait settings don't forget don't forget you can never forget make sure that it's set to 8 megabytes for the memory size it's very important now I'm just gonna hard reset yeah 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 hard reset let's just open that up again Boo -boo. What? using currently selected U code huh Hold on, let's try something else. I don't know what I said. I think I use I use uh Jabo's uh direct three D. I'm gonna use that instead. So I'm gonna just close that. Open that back up. Open ROM. Alright. Okay. So, hopefully this should work.
I find in my experience is you need to hard reset a few times. And with all of that, Jesus, it's loud. With all of that, you should have it working. So this is Doshin the Giant. It's not in English, mind you. You may have to do a few controller setups, which I've already done. So, yeah. Everything should be working if you've done everything right. Yep. Um, the uh, Doshin the Giant ROM already has a save loaded on it, so I'm still trying to figure out how to erase that save file and write new saves to it. But as far as I know, there's no real fix to that. Because I asked Luigi Blood on Twitter if there's any way to fix it. He said no. But I'm, I'm confident there will be a way in the future with Sen64 coming out and all, and all that great stuff. Because that's going to have N64DD support. And hopefully it will be a lot better than this. Because this is very, very, very beta. But it works. And that's what matters to us. Even though there are texture glitches and no not being able to save your own game, which is a bummer. Oh. Oops. It's a it's it's a huge bummer, but you know. If you have other games, then you should be able to be just fine with it. Thank you. Go on this mountain. Here, come here. Come here, friend. Oh, I want to pick you up. Come here. Anyway, yeah, that was a quick tutorial on how to get things working and running with N64 Disk Drive Emulation. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.